Lamy. Yes? Good, good day to you. Mr. Cotto. Good day to you. Ah, she... God. Mrs. Barrow, can I speak with you? All right. Speak. Can I ask you something? You may. It is delicate. You're the subject of certain rumours. Did you know this? What are you talking about? They say you wander the woods, alone. So? They say you burned someone's house down. Revenge, they say. They say that, do they? They talk, Mr. McCraith, while I work. They'll drink my ale, let them talk. Are we out of rumours now? Or are there more? They say... You put herbs in the ale. Amongst other things, yes. You'll note that they also drink the ale. And don't you believe everything you hear? Would you be interested? What do you need? I'll take my leave. Have a good day. I doubt she's who we're looking for. There was another name, Caleb Watson. Here, look. It's justice. Start anew. Shout on these people. They can't hurt us. But how could you make him kiss it again? Oh, there. Are you all right, sir? We're closed. Uh, oh, now, out with you. Leave. Leave. I can tell from your sorry demeanor that you won't mind me asking you a couple of questions. I'm Red McCraith. I'm a banisher. I'm searching the area for evidence of witchcraft. And you, I can tell, are itching to help me. Show your shite and shapes, goose peddler. No witches here. Only myself, Caleb Watson. The governor bade me make the rounds. Is anyone acting strange? Why would he ask you that? Everyone keeps secrets, and I have a talent for uncovering them. I ain't got no secrets. I ain't done no wrong. Search me house, if you don't believe me. See for yourself. And when you're done, if you're any kind of man, you'll come back here, doff your cap, apologize, then shite off and never come back. If you're looking for someone acting strangely, I think you've found your man. I'll be leaving you alone. A man. <laughs> Feels terrible, doesn't it? 
Fascinating. Does each citizen have their own? What do you think? Two of them are missing. Alexander and Ruth Watson. Hmm. Family? Fear not. You'll bugger off soon. Bachelor said Lucy Barrow cost the house and it burned down. A house burnt down, and I suspect the rest is nonsense. What's this? It's not metal, not wood. Bone, it's bone. Lovely. Ishmael Law said Watson lost his wife and brother. He's surely haunted, but where's the ghost? <laughs> Feels terrible, doesn't it? <gasps> Ruth married Caleb. Brother wrong. died trying to save it's her. Wrong, wrong. A surprisingly noble act for a drunk. I think we need to talk to Caleb Watson. Fear not. You've done enough sniffing. Hmm? Tired of the smell of your own ass. You said you had no secrets. That was a lie, am I right? Everyone has secrets. I can smell your secrets from here, mate. A pox on you. And a pox on your questions, too. You'll not take him head on. You must take your time. Outflank him. There's bond debris out back. I found bone in it. Where does it come from? You must have little business if you spend your time sifting through my rubbish. It came from the house. Probably. I read your letter to Ruth. It's clear you loved her. Were you telling the truth about Alexander's infidelity? My name is Caleb Watson. And before God, and all present, I swear that the letter I wrote to Ruth was a load of shite. Lusting for his beloved Ruth, I set out to ruin Alexander's name because I'm a greedy little prick. You're frank. You don't sound like you regret it, though. No. The past the past. Dead and buried. My brother is but a lingering memory. It was terrible what happened to your wife and brother. It might have helped if you'd mentioned that. You must be grieving. Do you mind if I ask where they're buried? Shite on me, shite bag brother. And shite on you too. They're both deep in the dirt up at God's Acre. And I'll speak no more of it. What's going on at God's Acre, Caleb? Shite off with your God's Acre. And good riddance to both. God's acre concerns you not. You need to tell me what happened here. Stop hiding. Nothing happened. I buried... I buried all... Quiet, you. And you can shite off, taking your nothing happened with you. Whatever happened, it happened at God's acre.
this is locked from the other side. Watch out! Respect your position! I feel something close. Yes, something's here. Here we are. Let us find the graves of Alexander and Ruth, and whatever got Kate up acting so strange. They brought more flames. Someone's been doing some undertaking. In New Eden, there's much to be done. Grave robbers? Yes. 
But what exactly were they stealing? Ruth Watson. There's another grave beneath it. You shouldn't stay in there. Undertakers did this, they should find other work. I doubt there's a job on Earth that suits whatever did this. Decoys. To distract wayward spectres. Rudimentary. Someone's had a little training. Here did lie Alexander Watson. Did Caleb take their bodies? Someone did. And he's at the top of my list. Well, they made quite the mess. Perhaps the decoys make sure us the way. Follow the path. Don't get too close. I'll try. This way, more of them. Oh. Right, that's on for size. That's what I was talking about when I said don't get too close. Demonology. I should have known. What in God's green hell is this? Fight now. Talk later. Oh. 
fancy a race? This isn't over yet. It's about to strike. It's stronger now. Brace yourself. Can I join? A vicious scourge that despises the living. In these lands, what a surprise indeed. Shrines now? With bones? It's like Lady Blackwood's boudoir around here. Memories from the past linger nearby. Oh there, fella. You're nasty, aren't you? Nasty, yes. But also shoddy. It's very poor work. Are you sure we didn't miss anything? With a bit of luck, we'll find what we need. What is this? It looks like a butchered version of the ritual of lesser palingenesis. The ritual of... that ritual? The one that brings someone back? That ritual? Yes, that ritual. Did I just do the wrong ritual? My voice commands you! Unveil! You losing your edge? Reunius fat aster himi. As flesh unto verb, as verb unto heart, as heart unto flesh. Death's knot is unsevered, and I shall cut it.
Caleb Watson invoked a ghost without a body for it to inhabit, so it took his. Caleb is no longer Caleb. He got the wrong ghost too. He used pieces of his wife and also of his brother. Ruth, Alexander, Caleb could be any combination of them in there. Let's go find out which. Did we miss a few? Should argue that the ritual will work. Caleb's work was poor. Your work will be good. Cold feet? My feet are fine. It's my gut that troubles me. The ritual shall work, and all shall be well. I promise. been to God's Acre. Quite a tale it told us. You're not Caleb, are you? Or at least not entirely. Ah, can't fog you. Alexander Watson. Long tale short, Caleb tried to bring his dead wife back. And I live here now. So many questions. Where to even start? Do both of you share Caleb's body? Share? <laughs> no. This house of flesh is mine. But because I am a generous man, I allow my brother to live in the cellar. We were twins. I was the rotten half, they said. But who's the rotten half now? He was trying to bring his wife back. How did you end up in the mix? Caleb made a fine cobbler, a poor brother, a worse husband. 
and a truly terrible witch. The ritual went to shite, because, <laughs> of course it did. <laughs> There's something else you should know, if you don't know it already. I'm not alone. I completed the ritual. My darling Ruth is in here too. You used the ritual to bring Ruth's spirit into Caleb's body. Why? Love moves a soul to strange endeavors. We deserve a better life. I set myself to claiming it. You know you failed, right? Look at yourself. Smell yourself. You can't live a life in that state. That's my never mind, not yours. If you don't like the smell, you can shite off. I'll not make our lives your business. I'd like to hear this from Ruth. May I please speak with her? No! We've carved ourselves out a little happiness at last. I'll not have you break it. Please, leave us alone. Give us this. We need to speak to her, one way or another. If he won't tell us anything, perhaps the house Ruth died in will. You died trying to save Ruth from a burning house. True. True. And where was Caleb while all this was happening? He was there. He stood rooted in place, frozen in fear. And then it was too late. He could do nothing but watch us burn. Caleb's name was ruined then. We're just putting the boot in. Caleb was no saint, but this is hellish grim. Does he deserve it? Aye, he does. And it's not like I killed him. He's alive in here somewhere. Watching me ruin his name. He can hear me now. Destroying his reputation as I had to hear him destroy mine when he painted me a fornicator. How oh, nice. He took our love, Ruth and mine, and killed it. Now our love's reborn, and he can do naught but sit and watch. Caleb was a cad. Shite on him. Let him suffer. I'll be leaving you alone for now. Alone? <laughs> Not really. Hush now. All is well. Nothing bad will ever come to us again. Ruth and Alexander are having an affair in her husband's body. I can't find an angle with that, isn't it just plain wrong? Something feels wrong. Something about Ruth. If we find the ghost tie, we can talk to her.
Red, I can't manifest anymore. The ghost wards feel far away from me. The bond down. The roof fell in with them inside. There's a lot of debris. I must be nearby. Of course. Ruth's heart binds them. But this work shows real sensitivity. Caleb? Not Alexander. I suspect we've just learnt a little about Ruth. You! What do you have there? Stop right there, you rank rump! Whatever you found, it ain't yours! You buried Ruth's heart in the ashes of the house that killed her. I find that odd. You, a ghost, went digging in the ashes of a dead woman's house. You're ill-positioned to call me odd. Don't think I haven't felt your presence before. Stow your tongue while I speak with Ruth. Ruth, can you hear me? Can you speak? Pock off and die! I'm in charge here! No! Hush ye, Alexander. I'll speak. I'm Ruth. I hear you. I'm Antea Duarte. We're here to help. Oh, Uncle. Please, end this nightmare. Help me. Go to hell in a bag of shite. We're fine. And you have not the right, you hear? You've not the right. Give it back! 
Reveal yourself! Master something up. Strong you were, weak you now go. Still confusing your charms? Show yourself. No more does he silence me. We may speak. Help me. Who does think about the ha Okay. Okay. I thought not even. When who? Alexander. Wants to no look at you, Caleb. Caleb Watson, your past saving. We can but grant you the mercy of oblivion. But, but what about me? What about Ruth? Ruth is free to go. I shall have my rest now. Thank you. The line twixt love and hate is thin and easily crossed, especially between brothers. None are better placed to wound than your own blood. That was something. Don't take it to heart. Their choices are not your business. Our choices are my business. And their consequences too. Our love story shall have a better ending. I shall be as I was before, as if I'd never gone away. I... I hear you. Good. Now, let's see what Lamy Haskell has to say about raising spirits from the dead. Governor. May I help you, Mr. McCraith? I have to admit, this is an unusual case. Yes, yes, but have you solved it? I believe so. But the culprit was not responsible for the plague. At least not directly. Have you found the witch or have you not? Someone here has been dabbling in some dark magic. I have the name. So? What are you waiting for? 
I have the name. I don't have the full picture. When I do, I'll act. Come, you have the name. You have the proof. The matter is simple, is it not? Not exactly. The name is Lamentation Haskell. No, it can't be. My son is studious. Curious, too curious at times, perhaps. But he does not have a bad bone in his heart. He showed Caleb Watts in a ritual. The cobbler used it and became possessed. Even if true, it would only mean my son was exposed to corruption. It happened before. Bring me proof, banisher. Find the real source of evil. I'll get it. Mark me. I must find your son, Governor. Sooner rather than later. His interests take him hither and thither. If he isn't here, he must be working on the outskirts. He's been sprucing up one of the abandoned houses there. I ordered them emptied when the sickness hit. Here, take the gate key. Go there. See for yourself. You're wrong about him. You're wrong about my son. Needless to say that I count, of course, on your discretion. He was quick to condemn till it was his own son on the block. Who is he really protecting? We'll bring him the proof he wants. If the boy is guilty, his father may not be able to protect him. Something's emanating from under there. No wonder this place is off limits. One of these must be Lammy's hideaway. Lammy, you here? This is locked from the other side.
it's locked. There must be a key. Arulu, mean anything to you? Not a thing. He mentioned an old mill. Seemed fascinated by the place. The incisions are clean. The precision of an expert. There's magic here, though faint. Nothing incriminating, yet. Remember what we found at Caleb Watson's? Maybe we're not looking in the right place. If I had something to hide, I might hide it in an abandoned mill. These roots are too strong to be removed. I better try my hand out them anyway. Wards. Think you can fend for yourself?
looks derelict. Is he really in sight? What hides here in the dark? Come out, come out. Deja vu. He tried his hand at several translations. This relay lad seems dangerous. His apprentice seems to be following him down the same path. So, what are you hiding in here, evil spawn? Glancing at the original writing, Lamy's work was poor. No wonder the ritual he spawned for Caleb from those botched words of power went wrong. More ghost wards. Someone was being extra careful. He doesn't speak well of his dad. Did he seek power? Was he hoping to step out of his father's shadow? If he did, he went the wrong way about it. We need to get to the top floor. Bet we'll find something. Frank, great. Why did he feel like he needed so much protection? More magic muckery. He wished to disguise his presence, or perhaps to distract from it. Just a lift. Why is this mechanism so complex? That book again. The Agrippa. That's not good. Not good at all. What level of not good are we talking about exactly? This book promises eternal life, but the promise is a trap. Let's hope it hasn't been used. We'll be careful. 
we don't know what Lamy was up to. And the signs are not encouraging. You know, I could get to like it underground. The darkness, the gloom, the cool air. Really? No, not really. Not at all. miss it, you know you would. You need to see this. Dead animals, again. Different symbols and magic. Seems they were used as bait. Is this how we got through the Sorrow's vigilance? So, here we are. I suppose now, we step into the void. <sighs> suppose we do. I tell you, I 
could give it a try, but... This thing needs more than your rugged self, I'm afraid. Get rid of the other Spectre first. Pay attention! Rituals, void breach, general weirdness. I may can't be far. Beware, wards. Wards. It's awfully calm. Why is it awfully calm? Think you can fend for yourself? The wards work well enough. You didn't need to kill so many bots. Demonologists use necromancy. Maybe he thought he'd bring them back when he was done. Spectres. They haven't noticed us. Stay low. I'm going to need a hand here. I'm at your side again. An Ariadne's thread leading through the void. Very useful indeed. Oh, very useful right until it falls apart. And your stuff like force meat in a turkey.
creepy hideout. The governor's spawn likes a bit of drama. This is some dark sideways magic. It's forbidden. I've read it. Sometimes I worry about you. This one's different. Looks like it died diseased. Ugh. What is this thing? Banish your rule number four. If it oozes, don't touch it. Another botched experiment? It may be native to the void. <laughs> So, you can see me. Aren't you full of surprises, young Master Haskell? You may talk. A Punisher ghost. Amazing. How on God's earth did you find me? Never mind that. Thank the Lord you did. Thought I was going to grow old in here. As hiding places go, the void is quite the choice. Yes, an amazing place. Oh, plain? World? The Aralu is not easily described, but it makes a fascinating study. Tell me, how did you get past the Guardian beneath the mill? Did you use a decoy? We fought it. Don't change the subject. You fought it? Of course you did! A good thing too. I was starting to think it was wise to me tricks. Oh, but I have so many questions. This isn't a social call, kid. And we're the ones with the questions. Oh. Oh. Of course. From the looks of this place, you're knee-deep in research. What are you doing here, exactly? Searching for the origin of the Harrow's Plague, of course. And I have a theory on the subject. Of course you do. Go on, then. Now, at first, I believed the water poisoned, but my father sealed the well, and yet folk remained sick. They looked for witchcraft, a foolish, uneducated suspicion, yes, but with some truth concealed behind it. You see, the Aralu taints New Eden. Its influence leeches into the Harrows. The evidence is everywhere. Can you prove that? Where's your evidence? In New Eden, the threshold between our plane and this is thin. Even I, a novice, may reach the frontier and then go beyond. I also believe it happened before. Some years ago, New Eden was hit by another epidemic. Was it the same illness? I believe that first epidemic was caused by the porosity of the frontier between New Eden and the Aralu. Although, where theirs was an affliction of burning flesh, Ours is a corruption of mind and spirit. And I believe I have found its source. There is a substance, a strange ooze. You may have noticed it. This, I believe, is the true source of the Harrow's poison. It carries a particular stink, on the scent of which I experience first confusion, then a loss of control over my limbs. based all this on a peculiar smell. Well, not only that. Also observation, experience, elimination of other possibilities. As a banisher, you surely understand that the limits of our perception far exceed the bounds of our normal attention. As a scientist, it's important to look closer, the better to understand what the Aralu was really made of. <sighs> Unfortunately, I cannot reach the source. The Aralu is a formidable place. Tricky. A maze constantly evolving, changing, reshaping itself. The Isthmus, for example. I found an oozing crack in the ground. The terrain then remade itself, and I can get to it no longer. Perhaps we might be able to find a way through and take a look at that source. Would you? That would be splendid. Would you mind taking notes? You see ghosts? 
You stroll the void as if it were your garden. You possess and share forbidden rituals. Who are you really? I'm Lammy Haskell, and I am a man of many sciences. I am in fact a true pursuer. That raises more questions than it answers. What are the pillars of the universe? Which principles underpin existence? As occultists, do we change the world or scratch upon its surface? Each discipline I embrace peels back a new layer of reality. I'm yet at the beginning and see where I already stand. Amazing, no? Are you a demonologist like... Mara, I bet... And if the... Went up, so I... And with Doobie... The app. Uh, pardon my morbid enthusiasm, Mr. Stuarte, but could I ask you a few questions? What do you wish to know? Do you still need to eat? Do you feel hunger? Sorry, it's just... Antea, uh, we should get going. So, the pious governor's unassuming son is our evil Harrow's witch. The more powerful the loose cannon, the more dangerous it is. Oh, God! I need a wee bit of help here. Well, that was not pleasant. Not a lot pleasant at all. We need to look for somewhere to cross. I have another in sight. through the breach. It separates like a festering wound. How delightful. Let's see what lies on the other side. Underground? Oh, it looks like. Wonderful. The ooze affects the incarnate, too. Who goes there? I don't know, but I don't think we're alone. What might you be then? What was innocence? Oh, shite. Did you, did you just say shite? You? A 
bigger than I thought it'd be. Is that? The house from the Harrows. We may be below the well. No wonder they all got sick. <laughs> 